Every now and then I have a client who may be allergic to cacao or vanilla bean, and that's why I created my unflavored proteins. I made my grass-fed beef isolate and my chocho bean protein in unflavored. Also, it's great to mix unflavored with chocolate or vanilla if you find that the flavor is just too strong. There are so many ways to use this unflavored protein. You can bake with it, make pancakes, muffins, breads. You can mix it into your coffee. You can add it to dips and dressings. Anytime that you find that you're under eating protein, these are versatile, clean proteins with only one ingredient that you can add to anything you're baking or making in your kitchen. Now, let's make a strawberry kale walnut smoothie using my unflavored protein. First up, we're gonna need two cups of unsweetened nut milk. Today, I'm using unsweetened cashew milk. Next, we're gonna add protein. I'm gonna use my plant-based unflavored chocho bean protein. One scoop is gonna serve up 20 grams of protein. Next, we wanna add some fat, and today I'm gonna to add whole walnuts. Anytime you're adding nuts to your smoothie, it's gonna thicken your smoothie, and it's also fun if you're looking for a little bit of chew or bite. So about two tablespoons of whole dry roasted walnuts. For fiber today, I'm gonna to add one tablespoon of chia and one tablespoon of hemp hearts. If you like a thicker smoothie or you're finding your smoothie isn't keeping you full, chia is a great option to add. And then hemp hearts are not only gonna add a nutty flavor, they are also gonna add extra fiber to keep you full. Now it wouldn't be a strawberry smoothie without ripe seasonal strawberries. We're gonna add about a half a cup of fresh strawberries. Last up, we're gonna add a little bit of kale, just about a handful and we are good to blend. Creamy and delicious, thick with all that fiber-rich chia, with the perfect nutty undertones from walnut. Delicious, and you don't need added flavor. 